terribly ill-fitting. Hers in particular are bunched up like she's got, she dropped a loaf in the front. The U.S. Space Force unveiled a uniform prototype for its members. Finally, look at this. Right now, every New York City doorman is like, are we in the Space Force? It looks like a line cook being yelled at by Gordon Ramsay. By the time you button up that jacket, the Space War is going to be over until Jeff Bezos buys the Space Force and turns it into this. Well, there's a lot of cutting up about the Space Force, right? Uniforms don't help. Let's take a look at the grand plan for the new Space Star, I mean, Space Force Galactica. Let's go. That I'm once in a generation opportunity. We're at a unique point in history. What's most exciting is the opportunity that we have to really shape the culture that we want. I'm at the beginning of a brand new service. I can see the direction that the Space Force is already going. What space has to offer. People ask what you do and you say, I'm in the Space Force. They light up. I just love being a part of the Space Force. This critically important domain. I would think, hear me out now, if you said it, some people go, are you joking? Like space balls. I'd like to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Ali Gonzalez and Major Dylan Cottle, if you'll please come out. All right, let's start with the uniforms. First off, we get what looks like two older flight attendants. Just if I looked at them, that's my first reaction. Now, very ill-fitting. The woman's trousers and the men's trousers, none of them have been tailored, clearly. Terribly ill-fitting. Hers in particular are bunched up like she's got, she dropped a loaf in the front. 